I'm Jason and I'm coming to you from the VI Roadshow and I'm here to talk with you today about a recent trip I had to a light bulb manufacturer in Europe. Now many of you, like me before I went, think that light bulbs probably aren't particularly interesting, but I found out that there's a lot of interesting things in light bulb manufacturing, particularly if you like fire. So without further ado, here are some fairly random clips that I took at the light bulb manufacturer, so enjoy. One of the first things I noticed when I went to the light bulb manufacturer's plant was that they used a lot of fire in their machines. Now this may have just been the six-year-old boy coming out of me, but I thought that that was pretty cool. They also used a lot of our motion controls, such as you see in this picture. This is our UMI 7774, and they used that to control things such as putting the filaments in the right place or controlling the fire just right so that it makes the proper bulb. Now this machine in particular was really cool because the amount of fire that they had was so big. I was actually afraid to point the camera directly at it because it was so hot. So I kind of pointed it on the side as you see there. This machine was interesting in that it spun fire around the bulb in order to form that. You see that end of the bulb where it kind of compresses in, um, where these two hands come in after it gets really hot and compress all that the filament in when it gets hot enough to melt. So I light bulbs all require this and some of the light bulbs even required someone to actually blow the glass which I thought was particularly interesting. Some of the machines also used liquid nitrogen to cool them because as you can imagine when you're using a lot of fire you also, you, you also require a lot of cooling. One of the more interesting things that I saw in this plant was that they used a test facility as the heater for the plant. They had their test facility of all the light bulbs on the top and when I looked up it looked like a furnace but when we went up there, we saw that it was just light bulbs all turned on, thousands of light bulbs all up in the ceiling just for testing, and it actually served to heat their plant. So hopefully you've found this a little bit interesting, and I look forward to talking to you later.